Hi there. So I was asked to do another anime mask. This time it's for this classic um, space robot called Gundam. I'm gonna give uh, EVA foam a shot this time. Hopefully it comes out semi-decent. So wish me luck. While researching a lot of uh, mask building for cosplay in general, I noticed that the, the hardest part that most people come across is the building the top of the dome. Basically the, the, the head piece part of uh, the mask. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I bought this uh, cheap helmet from the dollar store. So I'm gonna take this uh, visor part off and keep the dome and essentially just use that part as uh, the dome and build around it and build on top of it and kind of just have that little quick little shortcut. One thing I noticed about this helmet is the this lip in the back. That that might actually affect my build. It might create this unnecessary angle that I'm not going to want. So I'm going to try to trim it, make make it as flush as possible. It looks like a Magneto helmet or the beginnings of a Boba Fett or something, but <sighs> coming along so far so good, I guess.
The next plan is to use all of this scrap foam to line the sides of this helmet. So essentially use all of this to kind of surround this whole side of the helmet until I'm able to reach this part to basically copy the, the sides of the helmet of the Gundam robot, some sort of jet intake looking thing but i'm assuming that's not what it's for so hopefully i kill two birds in one stone i use up all the scrap foam and then after i do that i'm gonna cover it with eva foam to kind of just keep all the seams or hide all the seams and hopefully it comes out well enough So this is how far I've gotten with my uh, Gundam mask. I'm pretty surprised that it's coming out really well. Uh, it's my first time using EVA foam. And one thing I learned about using EVA foam is you have to measure. You have to make sure you know what you're doing. You can't just um, wing it like I normally do. Because once you cut, it's either it fits or it's garbage. And I ended up with a lot of garbage. So I learned that I do need to make like stencils or cutouts out of cardboard first before I cut the EVA foam. Other than that, it looks pretty cool.
There's really not much to say, only that it's looking really good right now. Really happy with it. Now I'm just gonna seal it with Mod Podge and a mixture of white paint. So I came up with this idea of uh, having the visor instead of it just an open space right here. I'm gonna use these clear cells that's colored. I have a red and yellow one. And I'm gonna try to simulate the, the, the glowing eyes back here. Um, hopefully that works. And you can see that I also remade the, uh, the face mask because there was way too many um, visible hot glue gun lines everywhere and it really bothered me so I'm redoing that and I'm completely out of this foam so hopefully this is it I'm not doing anything else To be honest, it looks more like a Zaku with the red visor, but I guess I'm just going to try to put like a yellow slits up here to kind of simulate the eyeballs, but try to put it above my eyes. That way it doesn't obscure my vision. Hopefully that works out, but I kind of like the way this looks. Retribution! Oh yeah, we want retribution! Oh yeah, we want retribution! 